New moons are a time for rejuvenation and manifestation. If you have a lack in your life, then this is the time it will be filled. Whether it's a new experience, person or item, as well as leaving behind things that might hold us back, we must, must, must make space for beginnings and foolish behavior. <laughs> Mind you, we are all fools when starting something new, right? Because the, the, the new moons brings us a cosmic, clean slate, perfect for realigning our goals, resetting our intentions and manifesting new opportunities. And the fresh feels are supercharged by the fact that the Aries new moons to restart the astrological air, allowing us to reflect on the lessons learned, embrace the changes and look ahead when it comes to crushing our objectives. So ready? Are you ready to bask in the refreshing energy of this lunation? <laughs> then keep watching this video till the end to find out what are those 10 things you can do to harness the passionate inferno of Aries. So stay tuned. So this new moon, do honor yourself. This lunation is all about honoring yourself and being unapologetic about it. That's because Aries is the first zodiac sign in the wheel, which comes with a sense of overly competitiveness and drive to succeed. Likewise, this energy is nestled in the new moon vibe, inspiring the collective to not only explore their wants and needs, but to selfishly and necessarily put yourself first. Aries isn't in concern with anyone else, so this is a time to be spiritually selfish and wholeheartedly in love with yourself. You have to choose yourself right now because that's the only way, that's the only way your hopes and your dreams will choose you in return. Do eliminate self-doubt. Trailblazing Aries is all about taking risks and eliminating self-doubt. That means this new moon lays groundwork for revamping your self-esteem in order to cement your objectives. In order to do that, though getting clear on your wants and needs, this is the ultimate, ultimate new moon for intention settings because whatever you start now has the ability to carry you through the whole next year. So these far signs aren't too concerned about limitations and they certainly don't let doubts fill their minds. And their brazen outlook on life is a great way to release your inhibitions and take that necessary leap of faith. Aries is the first sign of the zodiac and brings an energized and confident energy to the air. This makes the new moon the perfect time to hit the reset button on your goals for the year. Yes, 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 do avoid being impatient self-assured and insatiably competitive the blazing impact of the aries new sets a passion in place but for more reasons than being the lenition alone but a powerful aspect between two major malefic planets this new moon in aries will also be forming a few key transits including a sextile with mars the planet of action and saturn which is the planet of hard work so it can feel like spinning on an endless hamster wheel that's going nowhere when these planets link up with the new moon in Aries, there's the promise of a big, big, big payoff. As long as you keep your eyes on the prize and avoid abandoning ship as a result of impatience, abundance will find its way to you. Trust me, abundance is going to find its way to you. All right, do, do dive into your creative projects. It's time to bring all of your New Year's resolutions back to the forefront. What creative ideas have you been keeping up your sleeve? This lenation is more nose dive than a gentle nudge. So pick a creative project and jump in head first. Aries isn't it afraid of you know going after what they want and seldom do they let anyone stand in their way. Not even imposter syndrome. So their tenacious attitude makes it a perfect, makes it a perfect time to take those bold risks in your professional life. Yep, do take care of your mind and your body. So between the sun and Mercury, the, the planet governing all things related to the mind and communication stationed in gutsy Aries. It can seem like everything is running a gazillion miles an hour. It's important to use the renewing energy of the new moon to reset. Aries season get, get 
hectic fast. So the best way to ensure you're ready to rebuild your empire is to take care of your mind and body. So if you're looking for a low energy new moon ritual, try just lighting a red candle and intuitive journaling for 10 minutes before you go to bed early. Don't forget to be patient with yourself while going after the cold. After all, even the most confident fire signs need to practice self-compassion sometimes too, right? Do be unapologetically yourself. Ruled by the first person of identity, Aries is a champion of being authentic to themselves without caring about what others think. So follow the fire sign's brazen attitude and use the new moon to indulge in all the activities that make you, you. Do take charge. Yes, do take charge. Bossy, yeah. Aries prefer the term kingpin. So the cardinal sign is a leader by nature. So this lineation is all about assuming the role of a pilot in all areas of life, whether it's taking actionable steps to dominate your goals and making the first move in dating. <laughs> yes, do avoid being impulsive. Well, the Mars supply of aggression might be the culprit behind Aries' short views. With all this fire energy, it can be almost too easy to give in to outbursts and rage quitting. So to avoid rash decisions, meditate. Meditate. Or take a stroll through nature to cool off. Do challenge yourself and others. So are you in the mood for good-natured competition? <laughs> Aries is all about friendly rivalry. Even it's just for the bragging rights. So the new moon is a perfect time, perfect time to invite your pals to game night or push each other at the gym. Do candle gazing and meditate. Yes, meditate. What better way to work with the fiery energy of Aries than safely, safely, safely playing with fire? Candle gazing is a great way to honor the Aries new moon. Fire manifestations can be really quick at this time. So all you need to do is just light a candle, stare into the flame, and then meditate. Meditate on what you want for yourself. I will also drop a link for you all for the meditations that are surely going to help you in um, setting your intentions and setting your goals and manifesting your desires. So this new moon in Aries marks a time for us to take action with courage, boldness and confidence. The lunar event asks no demands that we reach into the pit of our stomachs and claim the power emanating there. So let this new moon in Aries remind you of your unrealized potential. Let it remind you that you, my love, can be and do anything you wish. It's a time to trust that the universe has your back and ride this glorious energy of Aries and boldly, boldly, boldly step forward. So are you ready? Are you ready to trust the universe and rise this glorious, glorious energy of Aries? Then unabashedly let me know in the comment description and reiterate your belief in your potential and in your belief that universe has your back. All right. Have a blissful. Have a blissful. Mm-hmm.